Okay, so uh, just following from the last video, we now need to determine what this roof does in relation to this roof. Okay, so is this roof positioned uh, correctly uh, at the moment? Okay, and the answer is probably not because the photo that we're about to look at in a moment, it would it doesn't indicate that the um, base of this roof plane also is at the base of this roof plane, which is how Archicad has drawn it at the moment. So what we will likely have to do is to move this uh, roof or this pair of roof planes down to um, better reflect uh, what information is uh, shown to us in the side elevation photo okay so the first thing that we need to do is I've just pressed F2 to get back to plan view is what we should do is um, draw either a section marker or an elevation marker and open up uh, a side view of this building okay this side view of this building and then uh, place uh, the image of the side-on picture of this building, okay? So that we can see what is the relative levels of the this roof in relation to this roof and move this smaller roof or this pair of roof planes um, accordingly. So the first thing that we have to do then, of course, is to draw um, a section marker which will open up a side view of our building okay now it doesn't really make a difference whether it's a section marker or an elevation marker but generally I use mostly section markers whether it's an elevation or not um, when I'm just using my day-to-day -day workings of the project okay so the section marker and the, and the re main reason is the section marker has um, the marker heads on either side by default at one end uh, at each end of the uh, section line whereas elevation has the elevation marker in the middle of the line it's also a bit more difficult to um, select when it's in the middle of the line so I just generally use a section marker okay so we go uh, double click the section make sure that it's infinite and infinite okay and then just press uh, OK. So it's gonna come up as T7, but actually what we might do is put that to one and then just press OK. Okay, so now to draw the section, the way this project has been arranged, we've got the grid line here and then we've got the uh, roof that's meeting or snapping to the grid line at this point and this point. Okay, or this edge and this edge. So probably the cleanest way to draw a section is to draw a line to indicate the section line along grid line A. Okay, so you're going to just snap to either side of grid line A and then draw, uh, click the eyepiece to the right of the um, uh, grid line. Okay, so now the sections come up as one. Okay, so double click the section. Okay. <laughs> and then this gives us the side view of our building okay now the next thing that we should do then is bring in the side elevation uh, picture or side elevation view of this building so that we can have a look and see um, what's happening with the roof okay so we to do that we go file external content place external drawing and then what we do is we go and get the image, which is this one, it's P1030254, of the side view, okay? Then we go open. And then what happens is it comes, the cursor then changes to this big box. And then we just click somewhere over here to drop the picture in, okay? And this is the side elevation, okay? So we can immediately see that the base of these two ridge, uh, sorry, the base of uh, this roof plane isn't up here, okay? It's down here somewhere, okay? So because the base of this uh, roof isn't also at the base here, so we're gonna have to drop this down. Now, 
The other thing that this use this picture is useful for is there's notice how this student is holding up a staff, okay, or a surveyor's staff. And that surveyor's staff is five meters. So we know from this point to this point, the uh, building is five meters. So up to this point, or up to the base of this roof or this ridge, it's probably say another two meters. Okay, but we, what we're going to do is scale this photo so that we can really measure from here to there and then we can, um, from the ground up, position this roof uh, at the correct RL level and then position this roof in relation to this roof, okay? So the way that we scale is uh, we select the image, okay? Then we press Control K, which brings up the resize box, okay? Now, if you don't want to use the shortcut, it is uh, edit, reshape, resize. Okay, notice how there's a control K here. And then it brings up this box. Now, what we want to do is resize graphically. Okay, and then the resizing should just affect everything that is um, selected. But in this case, uh, we've just selected the image, but these, these won't affect um, the resize if all of these are ticked. Okay, so we press OK. Now, what we want to do to resize is we want to zoom in to this point, which is the base of the staff, and we want to do our first click here, okay? And then we want to do our second click, and we hold the shift key, we want to do the second click, say, here, okay? I'm just making a very close estimate to the middle of that line, okay? so. At the moment, this distance is measured at 5842. So it's really come in 10 times the size. So I'm holding the shift key and then I do my second left click here. Okay, and now what it's going to do is, oops, hang on, second left click. I don't think I clicked, second left click here. Okay, so now what it's, uh, sorry, I'm just gonna do that again. So select the image, go control K, press OK, and then go from here. Click once with my left mouse button, and then I'm just panning up to here. Hold down the shift key, and then go click here. And then press the tab key and press 5000. Okay. And then press enter. And notice what happens. The image has automatically been resized okay so look at that so then I'm just going to drag this over to here just so I can see a bit more clearly how this works let me just okay so it's a little bit off skew let me just measure this image okay so just so press the M key from here to here. Okay, it's about five meters. Okay, now, of course this is not ideal because this is not quite, like if I go, it's not quite to scale. As in, even though I've resized it, it's still a bit off, okay? Now, let's just see. Okay, the reason for this is because of a little bit of distortion in the picture, a little bit of distortion in the ruler on the angle that it is at the picture, and the fact that I've probably drawn this at say six meters, when maybe it's probably a bit more like five and a half, okay? But this doesn't matter. If the purposes of the exercise is as long as it's drawn in this way, uh, it will be marked correct, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to use this information just to measure how far this base of this, um, roof plane is in relation to here okay 
and also how far this base of this roof plane is in relation to the ground. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is press my M key and then um, click to the base of the roof, uh, say, it's going to say it's a little bit distorted, say here. Okay. And that's about, say, seven meters. Okay. So the first thing that I'm going to do then is I'm going to draw a line from the ground. Okay. Actually, I'm going to draw a line from the base of the roof, okay, to the ground at seven meters. Okay. And then I'm just going to draw control D and drag this to where the ground meets. Okay, so this roof then needs to go to the top of this red line. So I've selected the roof and then I'm going to go up to the top of the red line. Okay. Now this roof here is probably, let's see, if I go and measure from here to here, it's probably say six one hundred. Okay. Six or maybe a little bit so maybe uh, maybe 900 mil. Okay, so we're going to take from here. I'm just going to measure from here to here. Say, say six, say nine. Hang on. I'm take, and of course this is all a bit approximate. So 900. Say nine, say nine. 30. Okay, so we're just going to move this to, I'm going to move Control D down to here. Oops, hang on a second. This one, I'm going to, now I'm going to move this to be strategic about this. I'm going to move this to the base here, which is where it was before. Okay, so that's if I moved it to, okay, so that's where it was before. Now, I'm going to move this down 9, 30. so what, what I could have effectively done is I've just moved everything up to the 700 meter mark, okay, uh, sorry, 7,000 meter mark above ground level. And then I'm just going to move this down by 930, which represents that distance there, okay, so going to select the first roof plane that's closest to me and then go control D and then go 930 and then I'm going to move this one to match to here okay now in 3d if I press F3 it now looks more like that okay so the next thing we want to do is marry this one, this pair, to here. Okay, and we'll do that in the next video.